holiday chocolate tins and hot cocoa fill your kitchen, you might have more chocolate than you know what to do with. But before you indulge, Five on Your Side's Keely Arthur shares the latest on Consumer Reports' investigation into toxicity in chocolate. It's a favorite treat with a potentially dark side, and note we aren't talking about its hue. Consumer Reports tested 48 chocolate products, dark chocolate bars, milk chocolate bars, chocolate chips, cocoa powder, hot chocolate mixes, and brownie and cake mixes, and found the ones featuring dark chocolate were most troublesome. As we expected, dark chocolates tended to have higher levels of heavy metals than milk chocolate. But everything that we tested had detectable amounts of lead and cadmium. There are no federal limits for the amount of lead and cadmium most foods can contain. But one state does set its own limit on certain foods. Consumer Report scientists used the California standards when measuring heavy metal content in chocolate. And we made our own assessments for consumers. Of the seven dark chocolate bars tested, five were above CR's levels for lead, cadmium or both. Evolved signature dark 72% cacao chocolate bar was high in both heavy metals. Evolved Chocolate told CR that it, quote, regularly tests raw materials and finished goods to ensure compliance and ultimately consumer safety. None of the milk chocolate bars tested were over CR's limit for either heavy metal. Two chocolate chips, two cocoa powders, one brownie mix and two cake mixes came back with lead levels over CR's limit. As for hot chocolate mixes, four of the six products tested exceeded CR's lead limit. Now, this doesn't mean you have to quit chocolate cold turkey. But as in many other things in life, moderation is the key. Keely Arthur, five on your side. Consumer Reports asked the FDA whether it has plans to set limits for lead and cadmium in the chocolate. The agency did not respond.